Hello students, welcome to RD Chemistry. I'm going to present a study plan for KCT 2021. And today's date is July 25, almost one month is there for KCT exam. So I made 25 days study plan, okay, including first PUC and second PUC chemistry topics. And I'll also mention important subtopics in each chapter. So let's start now. Here are given in first column days, 1 to 25 days, and are given chapter wise. The first day, you can uh, practice some basic concepts of the chemistry. Here, you are concentrate on how to calculate number of moles, then how to convert into mass, mass into volume, okay, into volume, then mass or moles into molecules or atoms molecules or atoms okay also concentrate on limiting reagent and excess reagent limiting reagent and excess reagent then how to calculate molarity molality mole fraction all those things here okay day number two solid state here concentrate on seven types of crystal system seven types of crystal system Okay, seven types of crystal system and concentrate on defect in solids, defect in solids, defect in solids. Okay, then how to calculate density, density of the solid. We have got formula there, right? Density is equal to Zm divided by A cube Na, right? So these are more important things here. Then also you have to learn how to find out, how to predict the formula of the compound. Say, some atoms are there in the corner, some are there in the faces, some are there in the body center. Using that, how to solve the problem, okay, to get the empirical formula or the molecular formula, right? On the third day, you can study the structure of atom. Here, you have to concentrate highly on, the very important one is quantum numbers, okay? One of the important question here, quantum numbers you have to learn. Also, remember, uh, the angular momentum MVR is equal to NH divided by 2 pi. Then we have got uh, de Broglie equation. Lambda is equal to H divided by momentum P. The momentum P is mass into velocity, right? Heisenberg equation, you have to learn. Heisenberg equation, you have to learn. All those things, very important things here, right? Okay. And the other formula like uh, C is equal to new lambda. Then 1 by lambda is uh, equal to the Rydberg constant uh, R H into 1 by N1 square minus 1 by N2 square for Lyman series, Balmer series, all those things, okay, to calculate the wave number or the wavelength, all those series, okay, right. On the fourth day, you can concentrate on solutions. In solution, there are four types of colligative properties, okay, how to find out the value of these colligative properties, you have to learn. Then, Okay, for liquid liquid mixtures, we have got Rolle's law. Problems can be a Rolle's law problems. And then we have got uh, their uh, Henry's law, one of the important one, Henry's law. Okay, so concentrate on the formula uh, partial pressure equal to KH into the uh, mole fraction of the gas in the liquid. Okay, then other problems can be can ask the how to calculate uh, molarity molality, mole fraction, all those things. And also remember how to calculate PPM here, right? Under classification elements, remember the important uh, uh, periodic properties like uh, atomic size, its variation along the period down the group, ionization enthalpy, electronegativity, and electron affinity, okay? These are very important ones because this is related to S block, P block, D block, block all those things, okay? So concentrate on the uh, periodic properties. Under electrochemistry, under electrochemistry on the sixth day, you can uh, concentrate more on, I'm telling here, yeah, you can read entire chapter, but uh, I'm highlighting one of the important topics, okay? Now we'll find out how to find out E naught cell, okay, E naught cell. So you have to remember Nernst equation, Nernst equation. Learn also electrochemical series here, electrochemical series, electrochemical series. Okay, electrochemical series. Then how to calculate uh, the equilibrium constant K when they give the E naught cell. Then, okay, uh, how to find out the molar conductivity. Okay, 
or infinite at infinite elution how to calculate molar conductivity how to calculate simple conductivity using the resistance also remember the cell constant g star is equal to r k so based on all these formula the problem can be asked okay now on the seventh day you can study chemical bonding in chemical bonding very important is uh, using vbt okay vbt is one of the important thing they can also predict the hybridization they can ask hybridization what is the hybridization of the central atom okay i mean central atom you can use the formula h is equal to half into uh, v plus m minus c okay for this you can see the video also this is one video on the uh, vbt and the vscpr theory okay remember vscpr theory also and one of the important thing every year they can ask is about the mot okay calculate bond order diamagnetic paramagnetic all those things clear yeah? on the eighth day you can learn about okay uh, topics in the kinetics okay in kinetics we have got uh, zero order and the first order remember you have to calculate k value how to calculate t half life okay right and how is the half life is related to the uh, initial concentration order remember order how half life is connected to order all those things and also the unit of order unit of order okay different order first order what is the order uh, for the first order what is the unit zero order what is the unit all those things okay right and remember the graphs also there are graphs there are graphs also here okay right under states of matter remember all the gas laws first of all gas law like boyle's law charles law avogadro law gay lussac law dalton's law all those things then study about the compressibility factor z okay compressibility factor z then the liquefaction of the gases okay these are the very important things then uh, concentrate on the uh, uh, postulates of the kinetic molecular theory kinetic molecular theory kinetic molecular theory right okay fine okay these are important things in surface chemistry the second topic surface chemistry you can um, concentrate uh, more on colloids more on the colloids i will not mention here what are the important topics to be studied there are many topics are there what is peptidization what is the coagulation what is the flocculation everything study full colloids study full colloids then i and the under adsorption you can study about the physics option and chemist option important one chemist option and physics option okay so whatever the statements are they can be asked which is a wrong statement which is a correct statement uh, for physics option chemist so they can be asked okay next on the 11th day you can learn about the thermodynamics and the thermodynamics you study what are the extensive properties and what is the intensive properties extensive and intensive then study about the process like adiabatic process okay then we have got isothermal isobaric all those things you can learn then go also learn about the bomb calorimeter okay bomb calorimeter what is the use of bomb calorimeter okay i said need not write the uh, go through the experiment part but uh, what is the use of the bomb calorimeter and uh, important thing here is we have got thermochemistry thermochemistry how to calculate enthalpy of combustion you must know how to find out enthalpy of combustion enthalpy of formation okay generally in the board exam these are for three mark question can be asked here okay right under d and e block elements okay we can study general properties general properties like uh, uh, electronic configuration exceptional cases then d block can form uh, act as a good catalyst they can form complexes they show variable oxidation state then under e block elements we have got actinoids and lanthanoids actinoids and lanthanoids study about the contraction study about the actinoid and lanthanoid contraction okay and also about the oxidation states oxidation states of the actinoids and lanthanoids very important on the 13th day you can study coordination compounds and a coordination compound study the general terms definition like uh, what is the coordination number how to calculate coordination number of the central atom okay then uh, what is the using vbt how to predict hybridization magnetic property outer complexes inner orbital complexes those are important go through the cft theory also okay now color is very important how the color of the substances obtained using cft theory okay right the important one 
clear and also iup is the name of the coordination compound can be asked one mark question and all okay sorry everything is one mark question only can be asked under equilibrium okay study importantly lee chatelier principle about the lee chatelier principle okay lee chatelier principle okay about the equilibrium constant kc and kp how they are related to each other there is a formula right kp is equal to kc into rt delta n can be asked important thing then how to calculate h plus concentration remember h plus into oh minus is equal to 10 power minus 40 there are many formula i need not write here many formulas are there here so i'll not write how to calculate ph poh all those things okay right clear yeah so also about study about the acid and base theory acid base theories you can learn here okay conjugate acid conjugate base or trade off under hydrogen and redox i have put together because chapter is very small most of things are removed okay deleted from the syllabus in hydrogen importantly study the isotopes hydrogen how to calculate number of neutrons here okay number of neutron then about the hard water how to remove hardness of water okay so temporary hardness is there then you have got a permanent hardness how to remove temporary hardness how to remove the permanent hardness important one here okay then you concentrate little bit on the deuterium right uh, d2o under redox reaction redox reaction so not much how to calculate oxidation number of the element given in the compound okay so concentrate hydrogen peroxide what is the oxidation number of the oxygen hydrogen peroxide is minus 1 right in case of uh, hydrogen peroxide oxidation number of oxygen minus 1 comes right so such things you have to concentrate on clear next under organic chemistry here on 16th day you can study now this is a very important chapter student because this chapter will connect all the organic chapters in the second year that's why i put all the organic chapters together a uh, concentrate here how to write on the ipas nomenclature then types of the isomerism like structural isomerism okay functional isomerism metamerism all those things then you study the electronic effect like induct effect resonance effect or mesomeric effect electromeric effect all those things concentrate on those things okay important ones then halo alkanes now yeah now whenever second day chapters are there they are very important we can't tell actually which is the important topic in the organic chemistry because when they make one question they can put first day second day question put together with one question identify the product okay like so i'll tell you uh, like uh, go through all the reaction okay full chapter go through all the full chapter here all the name reaction okay here also full chapter you study learn the full chapter based on the reduced syllabus so i can't tell which question can be asked but i can tell concentrate uh, more on the named reactions also here okay so there are many named reactions are there, right named what do you mean named reaction like colbes reaction williamson's reaction gatman reaction um then aldol condensation canisas reaction so i can't tell here which is very important everything is important here under biomolecules you can study what do you mean by reducing sugars what do you mean by non reducing sugars what do you mean by non reduced sugars all those things then structures is added glucose structure and uh, fructose structure remember here what is the example for non reducing sugar only one example is there for non reducing sugar in the syllabus sucrose rest all are reducing sugars we have got clear then concentrate on okay proteins protein which uh, amino acid is a uh, optically inactive then uh, go through the dna and rna there we have got different types of sugars and different types of nitrogenous bases correct so concentrate much on that okay right in the hydrocarbons chapter so we have got here uh, alkane alkene alkynes and aromatic hydrocarbons are there looks like entire chapter important but uh, i'll point out important topics here marconic of fruit marconic of fruit and anti marconic of fruit anti marconic of fruit okay then uh, wars reaction we have got then uh, kolb's electrolysis process okay then we have got uh, uh, newman projection and source projection you can go through that one then ozonolysis then ozonolysis then under aromatic hydrocarbon uh, electrophilic substitution reactions of the benzene like nitration chlorination product of alkylation acylation important one also learn about the acidic character of acidic character alkynes acidic character alkynes okay 
Then remember how to convert alkynes into cis and trans alkene. Cis and trans alkenes. Okay, cis and trans alkenes. And uh, whenever it comes on uh, on the day, 23rd day and 24th day, I have put here P block elements together 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Okay, here also it's like a washed actually. So you can concentrate on mainly on the previous year questions. Okay, for those inorganic chapters are memorizable. Okay, we can't remember. Some of students can't remember actually. We have to memorize it. So first go to the previous questions. And whenever the previous question you go through it, same point you underline in your notebook or in your NCRT. Better NCRT textbook you underline it. Okay. Clear? So we can't tell very important one. But you go through the structures, okay? Structures of acids. Structures of acids. Okay. Like sulfuric acid, sulfurous acid, then you have got phosphoric acid, all those things. Okay. Chlorous acid, chloric acid, interallogen compounds. Okay. So I can't point out the exact question can be asked. Okay. Then under S block elements, uh, you can learn more about the hydration enthalpy. Hydration enthalpy can learn. Hydration enthalpy. Then the general property. I'm speaking about the general property. General properties are generally asked, important one. Okay. Uh, what happens to the solubility? What happens to the solubility? Lattice energy down the group. All those things are important here. Okay. Clear? Yeah. So this is up to 25 days. So if you plan well all these okay, in 25 days. And uh, again, you go through the previous question thoroughly. On 26, 27, 28. See, it's better if you go through once uh, KCT 2020, last year paper one. Okay, last year paper. You will come to know type of question asked. So you go through the question paper one, see the solution one, also solve on your own once. Then any two model paper you solve on 27th day and 28th day. Okay. Hope you will do well. Okay. According to the plan given. Okay. Always plan is very important students. Okay. Then work on that one. Okay. Don't waste the time. Around 30 days are remaining. Uh, 8 hours per day. Better to learn. 8 hours per day. Better to learn. And you can spend more time on it. Okay. You can watch my um, YouTube videos. There are previous questions solved. Okay. I've got three playlists. Okay. On the top, when you open the, uh, when you open the RD chemistry channel, you can see on the top. Okay. Like uh, there is a videos. They write on the top videos and then there's a playlist and there's a community box like this. Okay, under playlist, when you click that one, then there will be, you can see different uh, playlists like KCT, class 11, class 12 and KCT crash course. KCT crash course is there. And if you want to, okay, prepare for the NEET, I've got a NEET practice papers also. There's a separate uh, playlist is there. So you have to learn that one. Where is it? Okay, right? Okay, student. See here, I opened the RD Chemistry YouTube channel. When you open the YouTube channel, you may see one video and click on that one. You may not see this home, videos, playlist, community, channels and about. Okay. What you can do is you can click on this uh, okay, picture, RD Chemistry picture, display picture. Click on that one. Then it will show home, video, playlist, all those things. Okay. Now I'll click on this uh, playlist here. So there are different playlists coming out. See, the first playlist is the KCT crash course. Second is the PU board. Third one is the JE previous year. Next, uh, NEET previous year. Next, we have got KCT class 12. Can you see that one? Then there's a notification. There's a different types of reagents are there. Then class 12 board, Alvalkin chapter. Then uh, KCT class 11. Okay. Then I got, uh, then we have got coordination 12 standard boards. Okay. Okay. Let me show this one. Then we have got at the end here. Chem tricks are there, tricks are there for JE, NEET and CET. Then the 12th standard, we have got boards, okay, syllabus. Then 12th standard, phenols, alcohols and uh, ethers, ether is here. And last one, you have got JE and NEET practice papers are there. So many playlists are there. Student doesn't know where the playlist, how the playlist looks like, okay. They watch one video, then they'll ask me, sir, send me that uh, video, this video. So check the playlist, all the videos are available, okay, right. Yeah, that's all in this video. Please do like, share and subscribe. Also, please write down the comments in the comments box today after watching the videos. And please do subscribe and support me. Thank you. Have a nice day. Enjoy your day. Thank you. Good luck. God bless you all.